Hey guys, it's Christina. How's it going? Well, I'm excited to finally show you how my classroom turned out. I've really been loving it and I feel like it came together so well this year. And um, so yeah, this is my classroom tour. This year I have a new little thing here where I'm gonna put a rubric for them to see like what a paper would look like at a four, a three, a two, then a one. One's the lowest, four is the highest. So they can see actual examples. That's something we're working on this year as a school and also with my team. So I'm really excited about that. It'll be for different subjects and areas. Here are some of their cubbies. And then here I have some board games files for them to file things away, clipboards. I really love how these bulletin boards turned out. I got that five from Zurchers, I think it's called. And my cupboards are way more organized. I have a long ways to go, but I started to organize them a little more, so that was nice. And this is where I will post their jobs and I plan on just writing each person's name on those gold stars with the expo marker and just erasing it from week to week. So, love this wallpaper so much. It was such a fun touch this year. And then next to it, I'll put birthdays. One thing I love too is I have a little description of each job there so they know exactly what they need to do when it's their job. And then scratch paper looks really fancy this year because I had some extra wallpaper and some little materials that we use. There's some National Geographics and little books to go along with my curriculum. And yeah, I used washi tape for the vase. I don't know if it looks the best, but you know what? I think it's fine and it stands out. I put wallpaper inside of these Ikea signs and I'll write the subject that each basket will be for when I get the baskets out. And then I got new labels for my books because they needed it really badly. So at this point I've actually gone in and written in the genres on each thing. These are little bins for materials they may need, may need throughout the year for different things. And I'll just kind of switch things out as they need them. And then here, I'm gonna put stars around each center star. Each center star is the unit. And then I'll put all the lessons around it. So that way they know where they're going with their learning. So they'll know, oh, we're learning about earth systems, but along with that, we're learning about volcanoes, earthquakes, weathering and erosion, you know, stuff like that. So like a little curriculum map. I just love this. Turned out so fun. Love the columns and the little lanterns, the little sconces, I guess. Put some lights up above. And here's some more wallpaper. Just love it. And the quote I picked for this year is shine like the stars. I like to pick a different motivational quote each year. This is my little small group area, reading area. And I'm going to let them rotate through these little stools. They love using those. Here's my little growth mindset area. I need to put a title up and maybe some other materials, but that's what I have so far. My paper organizer, my centers, all of their supplies right here. So that way they can easily grab them, but I have them ask first. All of my files, which I have quite a bit. 
And this cupboard needs work still, but I tried to organize some of it, so it's getting there. But I have a lot of rewards and organizational stuff in there. Here are ex some extra papers like graph paper and line paper um, and some of my manuals so I can easily find those. I really love my desk area this year. I feel like it's a little bit better than it was last year, but I changed out the pink flowers for these white ones and I now have a motiva motivational quote on that black felt board. But yeah, I got those posters from Ikea. I got this from Ikea for all my manuals. I've loved it. I wallpapered some of my little organizers here. I got some extra chalkboard markers and stuff too. So that's been great. And then this is where I put their learning targets. And then I have a list of things they can do when they're done. So first means those are like first priority then they'll move on to two once everything from one is done. So my little stand, which I use some washi tape to decorate it. I use washi tape quite a bit around the room. I got some gorgeous washi tape, which I'll zoom in on more as uh, this video goes along. But these columns, I just love them so much. They just added a nice touch to everything. And I love that I just went with the black and gold and white. Just so fun. Well, I washi taped a lot of different things, but I feel like it added a lot to the design. Um, I used it as like borders and frames, but uh, I have this little magnet board, magnets that my team and I have collected for each other as we've traveled. This is where I keep my schedule. And I've talked about some of these carts here at the front of the room. And then this is where I'll zoom in so you can see some of the washi tape, which I just loved. Look how fun this is. I got this, I got the washi tape from Amazon. And this is my classroom tour. Okay, that's how my classroom turned out this year. Um, yeah, I've just really been loving it. And so, yeah, I just love changing the theme up every year. It's been so fun for me. So, well, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much for watching.